So in this video, we are going to focus on how to find the limits at infinity of a given function. Now let's consider our first example. So given the limits of the function 5x squared plus 3x plus 3 or divided by 2 minus x plus 7x squared as x approaches infinity. How do we find the limit at infinity of this function? Now this is a rational function. It has a numerator and a denominator and the denominator is not equal to zero. Now to find the limit at infinity of this function, the best way to do this is to divide each of the terms of this limit by the highest power of x. Now the highest power of x in this limit is x to the power 2. So let's divide each term of this limit by x to the power 2. So we have the limit at infinity of the function. We have 5x squared divided by x squared plus 3x divided by x squared plus 3 divided by x squared or divided by 2 over x squared minus x divided by x squared plus 7x squared divided by x squared. Now let's simplify this. So we have the limit at infinity of, now x squared cancels out x squared, so we are left with 5 plus x cancels one of the x's and so we have 3 over x and then plus 3 over x square or divided by 2 over x square minus we have x cancelling out 1x and so we have 1 over x and then plus x square cancels out x square we are left with 7. Now at this point, we are going to substitute infinity into this limit. So we are going to have 5 plus 3 over infinity plus 3 over infinity square all divided by 2 over infinity square minus 1 over infinity plus 7. Now infinity is a very large number. Let's consider infinity as a very large number. Now in that case, we are going to have 5 plus. Now 3 over a very large number is nearly equal to 0. It's approaching 0. So 3 over infinity, we consider that as 0. Plus 3 over infinity square also 0. All divided by 2 over infinity square is 0. Minus 1 over infinity also 0 plus 7. Therefore, the limit of this function is equal to 5 over 7. Now let's consider the second example. Let's try to find the limit of the function 1 over x squared times x squared minus 1 or divided by x squared as x approaches infinity. Now let's try to multiply 1 over x squared across. So we are going to have the limit as x approaches infinity. So 1 times x squared minus 1 is still x squared minus 1 divided by x squared times x squared is x to the power 4. So at this point, we have the highest power of x to be to the power 4. So we are going to divide each term of this limit by x to the power 4. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity. That is x squared over x power 4 minus 1 over x power 4 all divided by x power 4 divided by 
x power 4. So let's simplify this. We have the limit as x approaches infinity of now x squared divided by x exponent 4 is 1 over x squared and then we have 1 over x exponent 4 or divided by x exponent 4 divided by x exponent 4 is 1. Now let's substitute infinity into this limit. So we have 1 over infinity square minus 1 over infinity to the power 4 or divided by 1. Now 1 over infinity square is 0. 1 over infinity to the power 4 is also 0 or divided by 1. So we have 0 minus 0 which is still 0 divided by 1 and then 0 divided by 1 is equal to 0. Therefore the limit of this function as x approaches infinity is equal to 0. Now let's consider some more examples. So to the next example how do we find the limit of the function 5 raised to the power the square root of 1 plus 1 over x square as x approaches infinity. Now let's resolve or let's simplify what we have under the square root. So we have 1 plus 1 over x square. Now let's try to find the LCM. The LCM is x square. x square divided by 1 is x square times 1 is still x square. x square divided by x square is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So we have x square plus 1 over x square. Now the highest power of x square here is 2. So we are going to divide each of the terms here by x square. So we have x square divided by x square plus 1 over x square divided by x square over x square. So that is equal to now x square over x square is 1 plus 1 over x square or divided by x square divided by x square is also 1. So we arrive we still arrive at what we have here that is 1 plus 1 over x square. So you can think of directly substituting infinity into this function and I think that's going to work but it is always appropriate to use this method. Try to use the original method we've used for the other two previous examples. So we are basically going to substitute this back here and that is exactly the same thing we have. So directly let's substitute infinity into this limit. Therefore we have 5 exponent the square root of 1 plus 1 over infinity square and then we have 5 to the power 1 plus now 1 over infinity square is 0 and so this is equal to 5 exponent the square root of 1 square root of 1 is 1 and then 5 exponent 1 is still 5 so we have the limits of this function as x approaches infinity to be equal to 5. Now the last example for today's lesson. And that is the limit of the square root of x plus 1 minus the square root of x as x approaches infinity. At this point, we are going to divide each of the terms by the highest value of x, which is 1. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity 
of we have the square root of x divided by x plus 1 divided by x minus square root of x over x now let's simplify x over x is 1 and then we have 1 over x minus x over x is also 1 now we plug in infinity into this limit so that we have the square root of 1 plus 1 over infinity minus 1 1 over infinity is 0 square root of 1 is 1 minus square root of 1 1 and that is equal to 0 so the limit of this function as x approaches infinity is equal to 0